So, hello everyone, my name is Julia Gottfried and I'm representing Aurora, um, which is not a typical art gallery, not a typical either, it's a community space uh, based in the 8th district of uh, Budapest, which is a quite special uh, location. Uh, Physically, it's in the center of Budapest, really in the heart of Budapest, but uh, in the mental map of uh, a lot of people is still uh, really on the periphery because of uh, a lot of uh, ethnic and social uh, tensions. Um, it has a very bad reputation, but nowadays um, there are more and more um, cultural and civil uh, initiatives uh, choosing this district. Uh, because of the multicultural um, atmosphere and the uh, low rental fees. Um, so Aurora exists uh, only uh, for five months. So it's a really new project, but its uh, story goes back much uh, earlier. Um, its background um, NGO, uh, it's called uh, Marom Cultural Association. Um, which exists still uh, since 2005, um, no, 2004. And um, first it was a, an association for um, Jewish young adults, a cultural association, and then um, step by step it uh, began to uh, open to other minorities and subcultures, and uh, somehow it became um, a sort of um, base basis for uh, civil organizations and cultural uh, initiations, uh, a platform uh, of these uh, initiatives to uh, to present themselves. And um, the association organizes big um, uh, festivals during the summertime and the, and the winter urban festivals. And its aim is actually to um, to help civil organizations and uh, cultural initiatives to represent themselves by combining um, uh, civil programs with, um, with more popular um, activities like big festivals and concerts and parties so that a lot of people, uh, a wider uh, audience can meet uh, social problems and political issues uh, represented by these uh, NGOs uh, with whom we are networking. So um, this is what Marum is doing. It's, I think it's interesting uh, and typical in Hungary that uh, this NGO was um, specialized in uh, Jewish culture, but then uh, it became a, it had a wider focus because there is a, it's very typical that um, there is so much uh, need to fulfill. Uh, that uh, a lot of NGOs uh, have much more activities uh, than they should do, and then the money they <laughs> they have to to uh, produce. Yeah, so it's a quite a difficult thing. Um, Marom had a, another uh, basis before Aurora. It was called Shirai. Uh, it was uh, in the seventh district as Chimera, uh, and it was a very popular place where a lot of uh, artists and uh, activists and all sorts of people um, got together and uh, there were a lot of uh, mainly informal uh, dialogues and meetings and uh, this is how it became a, the birthplace of a lot of uh, initiatives and uh, political parties and uh, movement and all sorts of things and this is what um, uh, this is what, this was also the cause of uh, its closure um, in, two years ago in 2014 um, because of uh, partly legal and mainly political reasons uh, during the big uh, student demonstrations which were organized there uh, the municipality uh, decided to close the, the building um, and um, we start. We decided to to continue, um, and we were searching for a new building uh, which allow us to to continue this uh, this mission to 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 create this platform. 
um, and it was a really long um, story of searching because it wasn't uh, easy to find a building which um, which we can afford financially and uh, where we have enough place uh, and space to to do not only commercial um, activities but all sort of um, activities uh, which is not financeable. <laughs> And this is how we found, uh, after two years of searching, uh, uh, this three floors uh, building in the A's district, in Aurora Street. So this is where the name comes from. Uh, and it's uh, not owned by the municipality, like Shirai, but uh, it's owned by a public owner. So it's a much better situation. Um, we started the renovations together with like 40, 50 volunteers. Uh, we had a grant that we won, so we were able to to start the renovations. Um, we started with the first floor of the building, where later uh, civil organizations uh, moved in offices, which they are renting from uh, from us, and where a co-working office uh, takes place now. Uh, and then it was followed by the renovation of the first floor, where the cafeteria and the project room or lecture room takes place. And uh, only in November uh, we finished renovating the basement, uh, where concerts, parties, uh, artistic performances, theater, and all kind of similar stuff uh, are organized. Um, parallel to these uh, things, we uh, we started to have brainstormings uh, with like 50 uh, volunteers uh, about the design and the the whole uh, image of the of the place. It was a really interesting uh, process not to do this uh, with one graphic designer, which would be much easier, but with 15 people with 15 opinion. Um, but it was really important for us to do this in a democratic basis because this is how we can uh, involve and keep uh, the people who are working with us. So we started to just to collect all kind of inspirations. Uh, as you can see, we were much inspired by the, the modernism, by the um, Central Eastern European avant-garde and the Hungarian uh, artist Lajos Kaszak. So we just collected inspirations and then uh, during big uh, discussions uh, we, um, we somehow um, invented the logo, for example. Uh, as you can see, the logo is, uh, reflects on this uh, multifunctionality of the place, uh, the modularity. Uh, it reflects the three main um, um, goals that or the three main uh, activities that uh, are going on the place, like uh, the first floor that the NGOs are working, the workplace, uh, the community space, the ground floor, which we call home or base, and the place for entertainment, the basement. Uh, this, um, we try to implement these, um, this communal uh, kind of uh, working and uh, the inspirations that we collected for the design into the uh, all kind of uh, inner design. As you can see, uh, these uh, modular boxes became somehow are uh, the symbol of uh, the place. Um, um, it's a really um, easy and cheap structure which allows us to build uh, anything that we want, like out of these boxes we can build uh, chairs, uh, tables, stages, or whatever uh, we need. Um, the first uh, artistic workshop which took place in uh, Aurora uh, was in cooperation with the Hungarian uh, Fine Art uh, University. Um, during a two-week uh, artist uh, workshop we uh, created together the counter of the place. Uh, the counter, the bar counter, with the Hungarian artist uh, Tomás Kassás. Um, and uh, this is how it looks now. I'm sorry for the bad quality images. <laughs> uh, 
and you can see some uh, cover photos. So the way of functioning, uh, as I mentioned, it's really important uh, to us to be able to involve uh, volunteers um, in long term. So to, it's really hard to involve them in a way that they uh, really feel that uh, they are able to uh, to take part in the decisions. Um, so we were thinking a lot uh, about the structure, how an uh, institution uh, like this, based on volunteerism, can uh, can function. Um, uh, I made this uh, image; it's not perfect, but hopefully understandable. Uh, there are different work, uh, working teams uh, in the bottom of the images, like uh, programming team, communication team, design, volunteer management, community organizing, technical support, catering. And uh, in all the working teams there are uh, uh, volunteer coordinators, they are also volunteers. Um, and there is one paid member, the <coughs> coordinator, is um, above all the working teams and uh, where the decisions are made in the plenary session which is held every third week and uh, everyone can uh, participate and vote uh, who is active in one of the working teams so this is uh, how the stru structure looks like but it's really important uh, that uh, this is a Structure which cannot be, uh, which must be uh, flexible and and uh, often re-examined. Uh, uh, so this is why we are um, making extremely lot of brainstormings and meetings. Our life is actually um, meetings after meetings. We are making excursions as well to be able to hold meetings day and night. <laughs> Uh, so, to tell about the activities, uh, there are extremely lot of activities uh, mm -hmm. since um, October, since we are open. Uh, the, uh, in these five months we have had like 300 programs, which means that um, there are like two programs a day, uh, which is extremely lot if you imagine that it's uh, run by uh, volunteers. Um, uh, um, it's hard to make categories, but our focuses are mainly on uh, social activism, uh, politi raising political aver awareness, uh, building network with locals and, and um, art. Uh, to, just to show you some example, um, we, um, I want to tell a few words about the art program. Uh, we don't have any uh, exhibition programming, uh, and it's not a goal. Um, but the aim is to build some kind of uh, community um, um, of uh, artists uh, who are um, connected or involved uh, with Aurora. And um, actually, it's uh, up to this uh, community if uh, they want to have exhibition program or, or whatever. They have. So we want to make this uh, organic and not a fur, not a forced uh, program. Um, and to make this community, we organize uh, programs uh, uh, like show and tell, which gives uh, opportunity to young artists to show their work, to present their works they are working on, or present fresh works and. Uh, and to discuss it with the community without any formality and uh, parallel they can um, they can uh, use their uh, presentation skills and work on it um, we have a, we we really want to um, react um, on um, current political issues and social problems. Um, and uh, to do this, we are networking with a lot of uh, NGOs and uh, organizations or activist groups. Uh, there are some uh, 
examples uh, where we have uh, big uh, roundtable discussions uh, about uh, current political issues. Um, and um, we don't only organize um, discussions to raise awareness on political or social issues, but we are organizing uh, solidar solidar solidarity parties or fundraising parties because it's also a nice occasion to, um, to organize events where a lot of people, like two or three hundred people are coming who are uh, not, or we are not sure if they are interested in, in, uh, in these problems, but uh, if they are in the space, they will face these problems. So. This is basically what we are doing. Uh, to, find a net, to find a connection to local peoples is the, it's the hardest thing, actually. Um, we are organizing uh, events um, with this goal as well. Uh, and the most successful is the Sunday place, Playhouse for Kids. Uh, and it's uh, visited by a lot of local uh, families, so we are really happy. Um, cooperation and networking. I was already talking about the first uh, floor where the NGOs are uh, renting out offices. Um, there are six NGOs uh, working uh, with activism, education, um, Roma rights, um, LMBTQ communities, or working with drug addiction. Um, it's the aim of the place actually to not only to host these uh, these uh, NGOs, but to create a connection between them and uh, to to inspire uh, cooperations between them. Um, yeah, ways of financing. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, the first. The first thing that uh, helped us to uh, initiate the project was a big grant that we won, but uh, during the, the renovation uh, we ran out of this first grant. So since uh, the renovation is over, uh, we are trying to be self-sustainable, uh, not depending on any grants or other uh, things. So uh, we can uh, do this from two different uh, ways. We are renting out offices for the NGOs, we are renting out co-working spaces and, uh, and parking places from the, from the square the, um, next to the house. And the uh, other big income, or the income which should be big, is the income coming from the bar and the kitchen um, we have a lot of plan, uh, but what is important here is uh, to strengthen, strengthen uh, connection with local people and uh, to strengthen location with uh, international organizations. We are really bad in it, like we are only open since five months, so we didn't have time to build it, but I'm really happy to be here because maybe this can be the... Um, the start point of this. So, <laughs> I try to be fast. 